Tech fans, what's going on? Today we're going to be taking a look at a monitor from the people over at BangQ. This is the brand new EW2780, and this is an entertainment monitor that's coming to market at a really amazing price of $199. And I think at the end of the video, you guys are going to be saying, wow, that is a great deal. But before we jump in and we check out this awesome monitor, let's hear a word from today's sponsor, Busy Future. Are you someone looking for a Windows 10 Pro key, but you don't have a lot of money? Well, then guess what? Busy Future has you covered. You can get any Windows 10 Pro key for under $20. That's right, under $20. And if you don't want to pay for a Windows 10 Pro key and you'd like to get one for free, right now Busy Future has an amazing software sale going on. Buy any antivirus pack, which you can get for as low as $16 and get a free Windows 10 Pro key. So whether you need some antivirus software or you're just looking for a really cheap Windows 10 Pro key, check out Busy Future. We'll have a link down below where you can save yourself some money. All right, so if you're looking for a cheap Windows key or you want to buy an antivirus software and get a free Windows key, check out Busy Future. We'll have a link down below. Now, like I said, this monitor is coming to market at $199. And for the price, um, I really feel it has a lot of features. You know, the BenQ EW2780, like I said, is an entertainment monitor. So an entertainment monitor means that it's, you know, more than just one type of thing. Like, you know, you got gaming monitors, you got, you know, their view monitors, which are for like, you know, editing videos and stuff like that. They have all different categories. This is an entry-level entertainment monitor, which means that it's made for watching movies on. It's made for watching games on. Now, this particular monitor has something called HDRI. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be going, hey, man, that's not the true HDR10 like we've seen in a lot of movies, and you guys are absolutely right. It's really not. So let's just first off, let's take a look at the front of the monitor. Now, it's 1920 by 1080. It also features free sync technology. Um, only thing about that is you're going to have to use the appropriate AMD card with the monitor to get those settings. If you're using an NVIDIA card, I use an NVIDIA card this time as well as an AMD card, and you're only getting 60 frames per second if you're using an NVIDIA card, just to let you guys know. Now, one thing you guys are also going to know is this monitor virtually has no bezel whatsoever. I mean, look at it. If you're doing a three monitor setup and 1920 by 1080 and you're using an AMD card, you can do three monitors and have a, a total surround system for less than 600 bucks. That's right. Less than 600 bucks. Now, the HDRI technology, what it really does, instead of like when you go into a movie and it pops up in the corner and says, oh, this is HDR. Um, it doesn't really do that. You can tab, there's two different settings. You can do HDRI, and they have this HDR simulation. Honestly, I just felt that the other, that the other setting, the HDRI setting, was just a better setting. Um, but what it does is basically when you're watching a movie or anything like that, it adjusts all of the brightness. So let's say that you're working in a room and the room is really, really bright. Well, the monitor then has intelligent technology built into it. It's another feature. It's called intelligent technology. And the intelligent technology will automatically adjust the monitor to be the right color temperature for the room you're in. Super dark room, you don't want something that's bright and glaring and killing your eyes. You know, you just don't want that. And that falls into another category about the features of the monitor because you also get their eye care. And their eye care means that, you know, it's flicker free. You can stare at the monitor for like long hours of time and it's going to look really good. Now, I will say this. Using an NVIDIA card, the text wasn't as clear as using the AMD card, obviously because this monitor is meant to be, you know, used with an AMD card. So one thing I guess I should push in this video, you know, if, if sometimes the cards from NVIDIA will support some monitors, but this particular one isn't on that list, so it's not supported. So using an AMD card, you're gonna get the best features of this monitor. Now, if you're using an AMD card, the text looks really crisp. Everything about the monitor is really nice. You get that 75 hertz refresh rate. But, you know, unfortunately, if you have an NVIDIA card, some of the features aren't going to be working as well. The monitor itself, though, is very lightweight. Like I said, there's no bezel on it whatsoever. 1920 by 1080, 16 to 9 aspect ratio. All in all, a pretty good monitor. Let's take a look at some of the other features, though. Now, the stand on this monitor, it's pretty easy to install, but it also has 
very, very limited range. It just tilts back and forth, and that's really it. There's no height adjustment. You can't spin the monitor, anything else like that. The only thing you're going to get is that slight tilt adjustment. Now, on the back of the monitor was where all the connections go. Also, if you're a person who wants to mount their monitor to the wall, there is a base mount on the back as well. So if you don't want to use the stand, just use the base mount and mount it up to your wall really simply through one of those little stands. Now, something about this monitor that a lot of people will probably like is there are two dual 5-watt integrated speakers. And these particular speakers, they sound good even when you have the volume turned up full blast. As you guys can see, and here's a video of my band playing in Hollywood back in the day. <laughs> But even at full blast, it sounds really good. And another thing about this audio is it features Travolo True Sound. And with Travolo True Sound, you can change the positioning, you can change all kinds of different features about it, and totally customize the audio to sound really, really good. Another cool thing about the onboard sound is it features its own DSP, and you have five different sound field modes, which actually give the listener a different mode for each audio source. And rather than opting for preset modes on the DSP, the engineers use principles of psychoacoustics, which is kind of neat, a field of psychology concerning perception of sound and its psychological effects. So basically, the audio just really sounds good. I know a lot of people out there going, eh, I don't know, man, onboard sound. But honestly, playing games, listening to music, watching movies, the audio and the 2.1 speakers that are built into this are actually really nice. If you could actually sit here in the room and listen to them, you'd be like, hey man, that's not bad at all. Now obviously it's not going to be like a you know $2,000 home stereo system, but for speakers that are inside of a monitor, they sound really, really good. So real quick, before we just take some visuals of what things look like on the monitor, I just want to talk about a couple of other features. There's also Brightness Intelligence Plus, they have a blue light technology. Like I said before, all of this stuff actually has to do with adjusting the lights and all of this stuff. Um, if you're a person and you like to go and read Kindle type books, they also have an e-paper mode so you can turn the monitor so that, you know, reading stuff on it looks really cool. So if a lot of people out there, you know, do this type of thing, you might find that particular feature very beneficial. It just depends on, you know, what it means to you. But real quick now, let's take a look at what movies and games look like on the EW2780, and, and as you guys can see, movies look pretty cool. I mean, we're just watching stuff on Netflix. You guys all know Netflix. We waste tons of our time on Netflix, binging out all kinds of different stuff, and it looks really, really nice. I mean, it's not gonna be like, you know, some $8,000 TV, but for a monitor that's only coming to market at $199, all the colors are nice and bright, the images are clear, you can hear everything really good through the speakers, and the same thing goes with games. Now, if you guys know Call of Duty, which I know a lot of you people out there, you know this game. This game looks great on this super thing. It just looks amazing. And like I said before, if you have an AMD card, you can use all of the AMD technology to enable FreeSync. FreeSync eliminates any type of game tearing whatsoever. So on screen, all you're going to see is your game. What it does is it locks the refresh rate between your video card and your monitor and makes sure that everything is coming clear to you as you're playing your games and that technology is built in. And the games look really great. The panel on this monitor is an IPS LED backlit monitor. The brightness features 250 nits. It has a native contrast ratio of 1000 to 1. The viewing angle, like most monitors these days, is 178 to 178, which means that really no matter which angle you're looking at the monitor, you'll be able to see things. Now, some people kind of complain about the response time on IPS monitors saying that five milliseconds gray to gray is a great big deal. But honestly, I've never really noticed any difference between five milliseconds, four milliseconds, or three milliseconds in most games. Like I said before, the refresh rate using the right card is 75 hertz. 
And the color gamut of this monitor is 72% of the NTSC, which means that a lot of things that you're going to be looking at will be 72% accurate. So this monitor is really not made for editing videos or art or anything like that. That requires an actual matching color thing. Just something to take note of. There's also 82 pixels per inch, and the dynamic contrast ratio on this monitor is 20 million to 1. And the reason it also doesn't have true HDR is that the color bit in this monitor is 8-bit, it's not 10-bit. And the lag time on the monitor is 14 milliseconds, which really isn't much in the big scheme of things. Now, as far as connectivity goes, being this is an introductory level monitor, you're not going to see a display port, but there are three HDMI connectors and there is a headphone jack as well if you want to plug your headphones in and listen to this stuff. All right, so I think by now you guys know that I really do like this monitor. For only $199, you just get all kinds of features and that's why I think this is a seriously editor's choice product. You get HDRI, and yes, it's not true HDR10, it's not the best HDR out there, but it does make stuff look really nice, your movies look cool. With all the flicker-free technology, the eye care technology, um, the 1920 by 1080 at 75 hertz, I just think, you know, at the end of the day, this is a great product for the price. Um, the speakers, a lot of times you guys know what I'm talking about, onboard speakers, they suck. They've always sucked. You know what I'm talking about. These speakers do not suck. I'm telling you that right now. Even at full blast, I had the Cameron Cole. I'm like, hey dude, make sure you turn that up full blast so that we can hear it at full blast quality because that's the best way to hear the speakers. No rattle whatsoever. The 2.1 speaker system is really cool. Plus, with all of the software that comes with it to operate it, you know, you can install that stuff if you want to use it. It's at the end of the day, I think it's a great monitor. Now, the only things that are lagging about it, yeah, there's no display port, but HDMI display port's pretty much the same thing. I mean, so not having the display port on there, you know, eh. And the fact that really the stand is just the most basic stand there is. I mean, let's just face it, it doesn't do anything. Tilting back and forth to me doesn't mean jack diddly squat, probably doesn't mean anything to you either. But hey, we're talking about an entry level monitor that has eye care, free sync. 75 hertz, hey, no bezel. So if you want to do three of them together for, you know, 600 bucks, I think it's a really good deal. I want to hear what you guys have to say. I know you guys sometimes are even more critical than I am about things, um, but let me know what you think. So I'm Elric. You guys have been watching Tech and Tomorrow. Like usual, we will have links down below for everything that we've talked about today. You can also check out other people's reviews on the net and, and the net rather. Check out the specs. Also, if you like what you see, hey, we'd love to see you sub to our channel and to come back and see more videos here on the channel. Also, there's many ways to help support us and keep us going. Some don't even cost you a penny. All you have to do is try Amazon Prime. It's free for 30 days. We get credit for that. It helps keep us rolling. And if you really love the channel and you've been a fan for a long time, for even a single dollar, you can support us over on Patreon. Also, if you like any of the music, we'll have links to the music as well. Links, 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 links. Please make sure you hit that like button. If you like what you see, please sub because we want to see you back here on the channel for more tech here on. Tech of tomorrow. Peace out, my friends.